Okay. Yes, yeah, I do. Excellent, superb. Lots of us coming in. If you'll just bear with us, um, we'll just get everybody in and Molly will tip me the mm. nod when all of our guests have arrived. I hope you're all fit and well. Oh, good, thanks. Good, good. Okay, everybody, good morning. Many thanks for joining us today uh, at Kenton Victor Chambers Maximize Your Membership event. This is the first that we've held virtually with our partners, uh, Quest, and I'd like to introduce, if you could give us a wave, Steve Charles from Quest and Miles Day from Quest. Give us a, a wave, Miles, wonderful, good to see you. We're uh, uh, together today for an hour, which, it, which is wonderful. And what we're hoping to do is to give you uh, a better overview of the benefits that you've signed up for. Many of you join the chamber for the promotional opportunities or for one particular uh, aspect of the benefits. But we're going to hear today from Steve about the range of benefits. And I hope you all find it really, really useful. We're together for an hour today. Um, and I hope that it's going to be uh, of, of value to you guys. Molly, was there anything that you wanted to add to our guest today? No, that's, um, that's a really nice introduction. So Excellent. Uh, if I could have the next slide, please. We'll just go through a few housekeeping rules. It's nothing uh, prescriptive. If I could kindly ask you if you could possibly keep your cameras on only because we like to see you we understand that if you have uh, have to take a call then maybe you, you you might not want people to to view that if i could also ask you to keep your microphones on mute and while the wonderful steve and miles are presenting if you could use the chat function on the right hand side for all of your questions then what we can do is form a nice orderly queue for steve and miles and fire questions at them. So thank you very much. Without further ado, Steve, the floor, for want of a better word, is yours. Go for it. Okay, yes. Good morning, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm Steve Charles from Quest. Um, Quest, we are the recommended uh, supplier by the British Chambers of Commerce to the Chamber Network across the country. And the services that we're just going to run through with you now, they are supplied to 46 of the 53 accredited chambers in the UK. So it's a, it's a big service. Uh, it's kind of well resourced. And I should point out that most of what we're going to show you is all included in your membership. Uh, there's nothing else to pay to access it. And the reason that it's free for you is because the chamber is investing in it. So that's why it's such a well used chamber service. So next one, Molly, please. So there are four services um, in total, all included in the membership fee. Chamber HR, Chamber Health and Safety, Chamber Legal and Chamber Tax. So they're um, accessed through one telephone number um, and there's documents, nearly 800 documents on a website and you've got legal expenses insurance and I'll run through those bit by bit as we go through so for the next one molly because the first the first uh thing there we got right eight five oh one four five five eight five two oh three seven is the advice line number that's the number that all the chambers will use and if you if you call it you will just be asked for your for which chamber you're a member of um there's five options hr legal health and safety tax and vat Option six is the claims line if you if you have need to make a claim on the legal expenses insurance. If you want to access the website where you will find uh, a whole host of things, the main feature of which is the document library with nearly 800 downloadable, free downloadable template documents, plus a whole load of information. You will need a set of unique login details that the chamber will supply you. You won't be able to get in without it. Um, there is access either through the chamber site or through chamberhr.co.uk 
And if you go to, to that site, that is a chamber index page. And on there, you'll find a list of all the participating chambers. And you need to scroll about halfway down till you find Kent and click on that. You won't be able to access through anybody else's site. And on top of the advice line and the documents, you've also got a million pounds worth of legal expenses insurance. And as I'll talk about shortly, that covers key things like employment tribunal cover and tax inquiry cover as well. So in a nutshell, that's what you've got access to. Next one, Molly. So Chamber HR is the most used of the services. Uh, and uh, as you might imagine, um, as we've gone through this year, it's been used a lot with all the turbulence in the employment market and people needing to restructure and unfortunately sometimes make redundancies. But this, the, the key thing of it, the key thing about it is as a member, you have unlimited access 365 days a year to this advice line. It is practical employer focused advice the, and the advisors are all really experienced. So the word employer focused is really important because what that's saying to you is it's not quite like phoning ACAS, which is very much on the side of the employee. And having spoken to various people that have been through the ACAS uh, support, which is obviously there's nothing wrong with the advice that they give, but it's very much geared towards the employee. These services are employer focused. So they're on the side of the employer and the employee cannot use the advice lines against the employer because the employer is the member and that is what who the service is for. So it's quite an important definition. And the fact that we've got these experienced advisors means that they can give you not just what the letter of the law is, which is what you'll get if you've not only ACAS, but a lot of advice lines that are out there, the hand-holding support and, and the sort of the advice that they give you can help you through quite difficult situations. And um, I know that a lot of people are sort of really benefited from it and has helped particularly small businesses out of some very, uh, well, in, in some situations that actually threaten their existence, to be honest, honest. So they can hold your hand when you need it. And of course, there will be times when you you might need something more personal and bespoke, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you need help with anything to do with HR employment law, redundancy, disciplinary issues, persistent absence, or you've got any questions about holidays, maternity pay, anything like that, just pick up the phone and talk to the advice line, and they're there to help you. Um, the website the main feature of that as i said is the document library there's over 400 employment documents and they cover everything in the employee life cycle so you've got documents about recruitment uh, induction probation everything to do with finding and recruiting people right through to exit documents everything so everything from recruitment to exit the full employee life cycle everything is there and they're there for you to use. And if you're not sure what document you need to use, you can phone the um, advice line and they'll tell you which document you need to use. But this year we've added two important sections. So section 11 on the website is about the good work plan, which came in in April and was very much overshadowed by COVID unfortunately. But there are some very key bits of legislation changes in that, that you need to be aware of. But then the, the the most used section probably at the moment is section 12, which is the COVID and section in there, you'll find template documents for furlough letters. And, and there was a whole lot of stuff on the job retention scheme as well, which kind of got almost like uh, binned as soon as it came in, but it's, it's there if it comes back, but the furlough documents are the things that, that are the most relevant and that you will find in the, in the, in that section 12. There's also on the website, there's a newsroom, uh, where you'll find news articles on HR and health and safety. Um, you can do a free HR health check, which is a very simple, basic online compliance check. Um, there's a My Document storage area. So if you are using docu pulling documents down off the library and using them, you can store them in your own, in your own section. Um, so you've got, with Chamber HR, you've got an advice line, you've got access to all these documents. Um, but there's also legal expenses insurance. So the legal expenses insurance, a key part of that is employment tribunal cover. 
employment tribunal cover is really important at the minute because there's a spike in employment claims with obviously lots of restructuring and redundancy going on and businesses are quite can be quite vulnerable to that it's really important that if you have a dispute of any kind that you phone the advice line straight away and you, you take advice from the outset because if you don't the insurance which is a prospects based insurance uh, policy like most of those things are you have to have over 50 percent prospects of success before you can you claim on it um but if you followed advice and you follow the process you will be absolutely fine and you and the, the insurance will pay for any preparation of documents or any claim made against you and that sort of thing so it's important that you know that you've got that so chamber hr fundamentally is advice it's documents it's employment tribunal cover but on top of that you you know if people might sometimes want um, a more personal uh, confirmation that what they've got is is appropriate and we do these free one-to-one -one reviews and i'll just ask miles my colleague um because he's the guy he's the person that would do them in your area that if you if you want to do a one-to-one -one review it's included in your membership miles could you tell everybody what a one-to-one -one review is yeah of course no problem at all hi everyone uh, so the one-to-one -one review is primarily a, a gap analysis of your current hr position and every business believe me i do many of them it, through the week and through the many months that we've been doing it now um every business is very different as to what stage they are with regards to their hr so it can be that some people have got contracts but they don't see the benefits or understand the necessity of having a good company handbook even speak to chamber members who haven't haven't really got a contract of employment and they're relying just on a, a letter um and an offer of employment and there are certain legal requirements that em, em, all employers should be adhering to um it also looks at the position they're in right now as well so um it looks at their um their workforce are they looking at a potential restructure how they would potentially look at it and looking at the the other options that there are potentially two redundancies that you know we, we talk to a lot of a lot of companies that sort of are feeling feeling squeezed at the moment but can see a good future once they're through the code we, we're through what we're going through um there are options reduced hours of work the presentation to staff there, there are lots of options before you have to get to redundancy sometimes it's inevitable because of you know I was talking to a guy the other day in, in a particular industry and they haven't, been, they haven't worked for nine months you know so as such there are very few options open to him he's just going to rebuild his business when this is over because of the sector he's in um and that's in essence what the the hr one-to-one uh, -one review is about um it's purely needs based so we we just look at where you're at from a, a core documentation point of view where you are from a, a hr position at the moment and also if there are any other areas where we can help we give you the options that are open to you and everything that we do outside of your chamber membership is discounted because you're a chamber member but it is very much needs based because that in essence that's what we're here for as a chamber support provider is to support you um so it really is a, a fact find and, and a gap analysis of your documents and a fact find about where you are as a business and how we could help you moving forward if you need anything in addition to you to your chamber hr membership at the moment are you shall i come in and, on the health and safety after you've done that part yeah Steve? we'll do that in a minute miles yeah yeah that's fine so okay. yeah that's in essence where it is and what it is on the hr side okay next one molly so chamber legal is the is the second most used service now if you're a if you're a sole trader really small business you're not really employing people um you might think hr isn't that relevant to you but chamber legal almost certainly is because as a member you've got access to unlimited access um 365 days a year to legal advisors and they can help you with all sorts of different things um and as you can see on the bottom of the list there contract disputes debt recovery property issues though those are the big three things gdpr was a big thing a couple of years ago but basically any legal problem or any questions that you've got you can phone up speak to experienced legal advisors and they'll help you or signpost you to where you can find a solution 
It's a bit different to the HR line in that it doesn't go as in depth in terms of giving you solutions because they're not allowed to. But people find it really useful because if they don't, if they have a legal problem, um, they sometimes don't know where to look. And and so we can we'll give advice, resolve it if we can. If not, they'll tell you they'll they'll signpost you to where you you can find the resolution. Or if you need a specialist solicitor, which sometimes people do in cases of things like intellectual property disputes, uh, you know, this is where you, you know, you might need to go, you might need to go and find a specialist. But the, the legal advice line is you is used a lot. And I say contract disputes are a big thing. It's important that you understand it is a it is a legal advice service. It's not a free legal service. So they, they can't draft documents for you or or do document reviews for you. They can do those things, unfortunately, but you know, to do, you know, there's a small charge for it. It is a legal advice line that I say it's used a lot. It helps out thousands of members every year. So particularly if you're a small business, they're the ones who use it the most. Uh, it's supported by a website where you've got over 200 free legal documents. And that's a whole mixture of things, checklists, con template contracts, um and you know you need to go on if you go onto the website and have a look around you will see um the variety of documents that are on there it's not an exhaustive list because literally you could put thousands of legal documents on there but it is a it is a core of basic commercial legal documents all business related um the legal service is is advice and it's documents but you've also got this legal expenses insurance policy, which underpins all the four services. And that covers both the your business and, and the some cover for your staff as well. So in addition to employment cover, uh, you've got things like criminal prosecution, defense, statutory license protection. There's a jury service allowance. So if you've got any staff going on jury service, you might be able to make a claim on that. Data protection, personal injury, and then for your staff, there's there's areas of cover like motor disputes, wrongful arrest, um, and personal injury. So there's there's elements of cover in it for for the business and also for the staff. Um, so if you want to get an understanding of what exactly is covered by this, the chamber should be able will have documents that they can send you with a summary of cover. Uh, and if Molly if you, and Kaz, if you haven't got those, let me know. I'll, I'll send them over to you. But you will have documents that, that give a summary of the legal expenses cover. So uh, next one, Molly, please. Chamber Health and Safety. Um, again, it's an advice line in a, and it's a website with an element of insurance to it. The advice line, you've got unlimited calls. It's an office hours health and safety advice to answer any questions that you've got. Um, but the big thing really about Chamber Health and Safety is the, is the document library because you've got a health and safety policy and all the basic documents that you need to be health and safety compliant uh, will, are on the website. So for a small, again, for a small business, um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, there's a section on there about getting started in health and safety. So if, you, if you're a new start business, it's really good. Um, if you're not sure where you are with health and safety um then you know this is there's a there's, there's a health check you can do that's on the website but if it is the it is the best place to start and you've got a legal expenses insurance to cover hse prosecutions uh, at the moment health and safety is really important and i think it's, it's important that, that every business is aware of their obligations under health and safety because even if you're a small business under five staff you don't legally have to have a health and safety policy but if you haven't got one and something goes wrong the hse will come down on you like a ton of bricks so it's kind of really important that every business is health and safety compliant and again to help people know whether the health and safety are compliant or not we all we do these free one-to-one -one reviews uh miles do you want to just explain to people what how that works on health and safety please yeah, of course, it, it follows exactly the same format. So, so again, we, we look at what I call the belt and braces. So we look at the documentation. You, you, we talk you through the documentation that you should have. And then we also look at the uh, where you are with regards to your risk assessments. So 
every industry is different, which risk assessments would apply to you. Um, the, the basic ones, things like fire risk assessments, uh, making sure fire extinguishers are up to date and they're checked regularly. And also look, also try to give you an understanding of the way the HSE work as well, because they're very much looking for live activity. So they're not just looking for what, what tends to happen is it tends to be a folder created that's then left for a year until somebody checks it. What they're looking for is a, an active health and safety um, activity and you guys buying into the need for, for things like a near miss record, accident books, um, training records for your staff so to make sure that they're trained and they're using equipment properly if, if that fits for your business. So we, we look at the whole thing as a, as a holistic view and we say, right, okay, where, where, where are you at right now and where do you need to get to to be compliant? Um, and there are, again, there are areas where, where we can help um, in addition to, to what you get at the moment. But like I say, it's, everything is very much needs based. But that's the core of the one to one review is to establish what to, to get you to compliance um, as safely as possible and as quickly as possible, because invariably with both the HR and the health and safety. It, it, it's a hat that somebody has to wear within a business that's not necessarily what they're, they're in the business for. It falls on office managers. It can fall on directors of businesses. That's what we're there for, is to support you outside of that and help you grow your business safely and compliantly, um, protected on the HR side and compliant with the HSE. And, and that's, in essence, what the one-to-one -one reviews are all about in both areas. So over to you, Steve. Thanks, Miles. So Chamber Health and Safety is... Um important at the minute because people trying to get the workplaces COVID secure when people are coming back. So again, if you've got, if you have any questions or issues about that, you can call the advice line, look up the documents and get some support on making sure your workplace is COVID secure. Next one, Molly, please. And the last and the fourth one is chamber tax where you've got access. There's no documents here, but you've got access to two advice lines, tax advisors and VAT advisors can help you with any questions that you've got about your tax liabilities, VAT liabilities, getting VAT registered, help with your tax return forms, anything like that. They're ready to answer any questions or help with resolve any issues that you've got. And you can see there, it says benefits in kind, property income, capital gains tax, et cetera. So the, these advisors are very experienced. A lot of them have come from HMRC. Um, so, one of the key things that you need to be aware of is that you've also got access as part of the legal expenses insurance to tax inquiry cover that will help you deal with um, HMRC inquiries, full inquiries, partial inquiries. But also at the moment, HMRC are taking on more staff to investigate fraudulent furlough payments. So if you get contacted about that and you have any concerns about that, you can call for advice and you've got the insurance to help you defend it if you or uh, defend it or react to it if you get an HMRC investigation about anything like that as well so it's worth knowing that the tax service is there if, you, if you've got any concerns about that and it does get quite well used these days so next one Molly please um, and so in summary as a member you've got five advice lines website with 800 nearly 800 free downloadable documents it's included in the membership fee there's nothing to pay You've got free one-to-one -one reviews on HR and health and safety. These are employer-focused services, very much to defend the employers. It's a national chamber scheme, so we've got uh, well over 40,000 UK users now, uh, recommended by the British Chambers of Commerce. And all that underpinned by a million pounds worth of legal ex expenses insurance. That's it, Molly, thanks. Is there another one or is that it? There's another one? Yeah, so additional services um so if you think that the chamber service is is great but you need something that's more personal more bespoke you've got difficult issues that you need to deal with uh you can talk to miles and you can talk to him about bespoke retained hr services but if you do need that we we'll, we we'll do them on short-term contracts one-year contracts is the most common that we do uh so you know, there's not necessarily a long-term commitment, but it's about helping you to sort, sort out your business, deal with the issues that you've got, 
Same on um, health and safety, you can get bespoke retained services on that. But we also do ad hoc services. So if you didn't want anything that was retained or any kind of commitment, even for one year, you can, but you need documents reviewing, you need documents creating, you need a contract and handbook, you need a settlement agreement, anything like that. Um, you can just pay for it. You can pay for that as a, as a one-off uh, piece of work. And all, if, if members do have to buy something, then those rates are always discounted anyway. There's also legal services like contracts and employ, um, contract reviews, contract drafting, all that kind of stuff is also available. There's insurance services. So we have an insurance company that can supply most businesses with the basic um, EL and PL and all that kind of stuff as well. We don't, um, that isn't necessarily, that isn't part of the chamber legal expenses insurance, but we can help with that if that's something else that you need as well. So whatever you need in those areas, you can get it through the, through the, through the chamber service, but I must stress that you've got access to these four services, HR, health and safety, legal tax, please be aware you've got them and please use them because that's what they're there for. We want as many people as possible to use them. And if you've got any questions, obviously I'm not going anywhere. So <laughs> give me, we can talk about it afterwards. I think that's it, Molly. Thanks. Right. Thank you very much indeed. That was really informative and not evangelical. Sometimes uh, when we have a run through of benefits, it, it just seems like a catalogue. But you, you did that really succinctly. So well done you. Well done, Miles. We had uh, a, a question from Rebecca, which is in the chat, Steve. Miles has answered it. Uh, and, and I think because it's personal to her business, I, I wonder, Miles, if you could schedule a call in with our member uh, to, to pick that up with her. So thank you very much. One of the things that I always find fascinating is the downloads uh, that you have available, Steve. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always saying to my members, when did you last review your T's and C's? And they don't realize that there are three sets of T's and C's on the website that are all current, compliant, and fit for purpose. And people are paying for T and C reviews outside of the chamber. Would you quickly just run through this benefit and where they are? Because they're not always easy to find, the T's and C's. Do, do you know what? Do you know what, Kaz? I don't know where they are, to be honest. I'm not... Um, right, they're, un, they're under legal. Uh, they're under legal. Yeah, they're, on, <laughs> they're on the legal document library, obviously. But uh, <laughs> well, as, a, as a member, if you, if you log in, if you haven't done it, you, you're presented with three options, HR, health and safety, and legal document library. So if you click on the legal document library, and then you know you've got nearly 200 documents to search I presume, and that's where you'll find the terms and conditions that it's my understanding is there's obviously lots of variants on terms and conditions so you've got to be you have to be very careful because you know um because you know our business is trading is it all face to face is it all, do you do in online trading are you trading abroad there's all sorts of variants of it so you, you need to be really careful Absolutely, but the important thing is that T's and C's are reviewed annually uh, because many people uh, forget that. Miles, thank you so much for engaging with Rebecca. I see the number there. For those of you that haven't used the services, you actually have to log into the member area to be able to access the Quest services. Uh, and there is always the helpline there as well. The other thing that I find absolutely fascinating under the legal cover is that we now uh, can uh, with the help of Quest, compile a solicitor's letter for only £20 once the usual uh, methods of trying to extrapolate cash out of your debtor ha have been uh, have been exhausted, which is a marvellous service because the solicitor will charge you £150. Yeah, so yeah. The, debt, the debt recovery services, the, the should, there's a pop-up box on the legal document library uh, and our our legal company are officially a registered solicitor's practice. Um, they obviously it's not a big one, so they can't deal with all sorts of spe legal specialisms. But things like debt recovery, contracts, and employment issues, they can do all those things. So we introduced last year this cheap first step, which is a chaser letter. Um, letter that they can send. You just basically just fill it in and pay for it online. You know, pay the twenty pounds. 
and and, uh, and uh, they'll send this official letter and you know that will resolve a lot of disputes the fact that it's coming from a solicitor but i should point out that as a member for debt recovery you've got access to free advice you've also got free template documents in terms of letters that you can send yourself they're all available free of charge as part of the standard legal service and this is a step up if you think you're not getting anywhere yourself and you want to get a solicitor's letter if that doesn't work and you need a letter before action, they can do that as well. And that, that is a little bit more, but it's still, I think it's about 50 pounds. It's not a lot. No, that, 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 that's super. And uh, thank you to Veno, Venom Tech uh, for, for your query there. And if I could kindly ask Miles to pick that up, uh, that, that would be awesome. Do yeah. any of our guests here today have any other questions for Stephen, for Miles? Not tough ones, though. Not difficult ones. Just really, really easy ones, if you can. <laughs> we can always follow up with you guys. But, yeah. you know, whilst you have the gurus here, there is never a better time to put them on the spot and get value for, 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 for your membership money. Now I'm worried, Steve. Now I'm really worried. Um, so with regards to the question regarding the four members of staff to five members of staff rule, um, it predominantly um, is involved with the health and safety. On the HR side, due, because of the good work plan, all contracts of employment, regardless of numbers of staff, all contracts of employment need to issue, be issued on day one of employment. Used to be you had a grace period of up to eight weeks. That's gone now. Um, so from the 1st of April, as soon as somebody starts, they, they should be issued with a contract of, contract of employment, a statement of main terms. We strongly recommend that, that you also, also issue a handbook because obviously the, the two areas are very different. A contract should be what you very much what you um, agree to give to them as an employee. Your handbook is very much the a, a, a go-to place for both management and staff about the rules of the business. And every business is very, very different. Some policies will not apply to you. Some, some policies will very much fit what you need. Do your staff wear uniform? Who's responsible for it? Who's responsible for the maintenance of it? If it's damaged, these are, these are areas that should be covered in a, a comprehensive handbook. With regards to the health and safety side, the four to five rule, um, very much like Steve said, there is a rule about policies and organisational arrangements. It's legal requirement that at five, five members of staff um, that should be in place. However, it's strongly recommended that you, uh, very much like the knowledgeable person within the business, it's strongly recommended that, um, that you do already have them. Um, and it's good practice to have them from day one. Don't play, put too much weight on the four to five rule. By law, yes, from five staff, you should have your policies and your organisational arrangements in place. However, you know, we, we sort of go down the lines that it's good preparation and good practice to have it from, from as, soon as, as soon as possible, really. Ideally, on set of starting your business, but, you know, it's not always possible. But certainly make sure that, that that's in place. Certainly when you're employing people, you do need to make sure that those those the minimum documents are there. But it's very much those those are documents that you have to have. There's also an awful lot of other documents that are very good practice that you should that you should have in place. And that's why we, we sort of recommend the one to one review um, to just get a good view of, of what you've got and how to get you to where you need to be from a compliance point of view. So hopefully I've answered that one. <laughs> That, that's really awesome. Yes, you've added value to that. Thank you very much. Uh, before we close, Steve, was there anything else that you wanted to, to share with our members? Uh, well, not really. Just to that if you think you need some more information about it, if you contact CAS, that, that does, we have lots of bits of marketing information and summary service summaries and things like that. Just remember that you've got it and, and just use the service because that, that's the drum that we bang all the time. Don't forget you've got it. You know, you don't need to go and sign five year contracts with people to get access to these kind of essential services. And uh, we're on a kind of crusade, really, to get members to use the service that the chambers are investing in. Um, and at this time, it's more important than ever, I think. 
So absolutely couldn't agree more uh, with you. And do you know what? It, it, it's such value for money because when you need the service, it's invaluable. It's there 365 days and on a 24 hour uh, helpline service. So that's awesome. We're going to be looking to closing. Molly, if I could have the next slide up just to uh, follow on from Steve and Miles's presentation with some information uh, about future webinars. On the 17th of November, which is next week, we've got Create Your Own Strategic Marketing Plan, which is always good. And the piece de la resistance next Thursday is Business Talks with Kaz. And we're going to be, haha, we're going to be featuring a really great local family business, which is Copper Rivet Distillery. They're based in Chatham Dockyard. And they're gonna to talk to us about the, not only the gin they make, the whiskey they make, but some of their um, their community efforts uh, that they've been engaging in during lockdown. They've partnered with Shepherd Neem uh, to make alcohol, to make hand sanitizer, which was transported on Allen Fermin lorries. Great, great partnership approach to supporting the community. And we're going to be hearing from Steve there, which is going to be really interesting about how uh, a business which generally open to the public is actually managing to survive online. So that should be very, very interesting. Thank you to all of our members. I hope that it's been useful for you, plugged in some gaps. It's the best, um, best quality set of business benefits around for you and invaluable when you're in trouble. So once again, many, many thanks to Steve and to Miles and of course to Molly. Um, and hopefully we will all see you again at upcoming networking meetings. Thank you all so much and stay safe.